Good afternoon, WUSD staff, families, and community. Today is July 15th, 2020. My name is Linda Luna, Superintendent of Washington Unified Schools, and I would like to provide an update on the return to school. As of yesterday, Yolo County reached 999 positive cases of COVID-19 with 285 cases here in West Sacramento. Until we are able to see a steady decline of COVID-19 in our own community, we will need to reopen school in August with a virtual learning model. Washington Unified has been preparing to open school using a roadmap as our journey and also using the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and Yellow County Health Guidelines for putting best practices and safety measures in place. The health and safety of our students and staff at school continue be, to be the highest priority of our Board of Trustees and District. Our shared interests of having all students and staff return to school as we have known it to be still remains our goal. In monitoring the cases and effects of COVID-19 to Yellow County, to West Sacramento, and to our very own school district, we are deeply concerned about the steady rise of positive cases as we try to reopen school. While the decision for full virtual learning was difficult and complex, the board and I are confident that starting the school year in full virtual learning is the safest and healthiest manner to ensure our students continue their education even during this pandemic. To support planning for the district staff and families, we will start the school year with virtual learning and monitor through the first quarter of school to determine how we can phase into a model to return as many students as possible back to school, depending on the health conditions of our community. The next two months will determine whether WUSD will remain in full virtual learning for the rest of the semester or begin phasing into a blended learning model all dependent on the level of control of the virus in our own community. We have all learned a lot when schools were closed last March. Virtual learning will be exponentially improved from what we experienced last spring. Education continues to be identified as essential services, and we will continue our food services and meals for our students and families and ensure a meaningful education for students. To maximize district resources and best support of our school staff, the schools will remain closed to the public, but staff will be able to fully access all teaching resources, the district technology, and ensure collaboration for lesson planning and support for one another. The state has provided guidelines for what instruction is expected to be under the current COVID-19 guidelines. One, instructional minutes are required to be met. We expect daily instruction between the classroom teacher and students. Lessons will be standards aligned and we will provide grades as in our traditional school year. Secondly, we will ensure every student has access to the internet and technology to engage in daily instruction with their teacher. And thirdly, all support staff will provide support services for our students, whether virtual or in person for specialized services of need. The decision for full virtual learning is not final for our school year. It's only the beginning for its school. The Board of Trustees and the district will ensure readiness to phase into bringing students back on campus as health guidelines safely allow more details of our virtual learning model will be forthcoming. I want to thank you for your patience and for your understanding as we progress through this pandemic. All will be well, and together we will rise stronger as a community, as an organization. Thank you.